what's going on guys welcome back to this video as you can see today we're going to do over the wire war games and in today's video we're going to do natus level 12 so as you can see here this is a web challenge and here we have the option to upload um, a gpg file which is an image file and it has to be one kilobyte at max Let's now take a look at the source code because if the source code is provided we have the luxury to inspect how it works and therefore save ourselves the time of black box testing. So we're going to go over the source code here and we see this is the PHP code. We have several functions. We can highlight the first one, get random string and we have make random path and then we have make random path from file name and then we have an if statement and lastly we have a form. Now Assumingly, this is the form that controls the process. So as you can see first, it is actually accepting user input via post request. And then we have uh, four fields, as you can see. The first field is hidden. And it is actually controlling the maximum file size. So the file size uh, must be one kilobyte at least, at most. And then we have the second field which controls the file name it is also a hidden field by the type and what it does it actually uses the get random string function or it calls the get random string function so it's gonna jump here and here it generates as you can see a random uh, name for the file that you want to upload the length of the random file name is 10 characters and these are the characters that will be used to construct the file name and then we have a for loop so basically here it creates another name for the file you upload so here basically it has some sort of criteria for the for the names that uh, for the files that are uploaded so whatever file you're gonna upload it's gonna change to whatever the get random string function will give and then we have the uh, f uh, the field where it actually accepts the user input name uploaded file and type equal file so this is the form okay now let's go check other functions so we check this function now let's check this one make random path so the make random path here uh, it takes the directory as an input and it is actually to construct the uh, to put the random string that has been generated okay from here into the corresponding file path and here as you can see the if statement that controls this process so as you can see here the file name is taken as a post request or from the post request and then the make random path from file name is called here right to store the file name in the upload directory so that's the directory where the file will be stored and then we have checks on the file size if it is more than one kilobyte it's gonna echo file is too big and then uh, as you can see we have no checks on the uh, extension of the file okay so uh, I know here whatever file we upload it's gonna have the GPG extension hard-coded but then later on there are no checks on the extension so let's say we uploaded an extension that is gpg right so the form will check on the extension here it is hard coded check so to fool the code or the application we're going to upload a really gpg extension but after the form checks everything and says okay your file is gpg i'm gonna pass it to the uh, next function so then as you can see we now have checks on the extension we only have one check while you upload the form uh, upload the file and later on when the file is passed and stored under the upload directory as you can see it's immediately stored there are no later checks on the extension which means if we intercept the request and change the extension it's gonna work let's go back and upload a file so let's go to perp suite activate intercept and browse to test file this is a test file oh, okay let me up, let me upload first a regular file 
but this is a PNG file, right? All right, let's now click on the upload and go check. So as you can see, the file is indeed uh, less than 1000 kilobyte, and this is the file that we uploaded. As you can see here, um, this is the name that will be generated for the file. If we go back and check So as you can see here the file has been uploaded successfully but take a look at the extension it has changed from png to uh, gpg so we're gonna click on upload and as you can see here we see the image rendered successfully now what we're going to do we're going to upload a text file this time so if you go to the command prompt here the terminal you see that i have um, a test file so if i cut test it says test so what I did I created a test file with text extension if you take a look at the extension it says it's a text file but I changed the extension from text to the image extension I want to uh, make sure that I bypass the first stage of the checks in the forms so we're gonna go back I'm gonna upload this file okay test but before proceeding to upload, we're going to turn on, we're going to go back to the proxy and enable it. And here, say intercept is on, going back, upload the file. All right, so see this file now? It is GPG, right? But actually it is not, okay? We did this to make sure that we actually conform to the form requirements. Because the form wants it with the extension GPG, and if it wasn't it's going to append the extension as we saw in the code so to bypass this what we're going to do we're going to change this into text because as you can see this file here has been generated by the get random string function if you remember so if we send this now as you can see the file has been uploaded because after the upload process, there are no further checks on the extension. That's why when we change it, after we upload the file, it's going to accept it. So we're gonna click on this and then the file now has been rendered. All right, the next step now is to get a shell. So I'm gonna go back here and I created now a shell file. I took it from the notes. This is a simple one-liner shell that will give you the ability to send system commands via the cmd argument okay now this is the reverse shell a node file i'm gonna go back and make sure that the shell is okay so as you can see i changed the um, extension from php into jpg so we're gonna go here gonna say go back upload the file the shell one and before we upload we're gonna intercept the request so here it is gpg that's fine the form now accepts the file now we're going to change this after the name has been generated we're going to change this into php okay and then the application will leave it that's it forward so the file has been uploaded successfully click on the file we have an error but the file has been uploaded now we're going to append the cmd parameter and say a system command like id so we have the user id and now we have successfully executed system commands against the application now what we can do we can what you want to do in this uh, challenge you want to grab the password of the user uh, natus 13 so we're going to go to we're going to say cat etc cat okay pass the D. yeah so here we're gonna say ls etc we know from previous challenges that the passwords for all of the native users are stored under one directory in the etc directory so it is as you can see here natus underscore pass 
and we have natus underscore web pass. That's the file we want. So we're going to say ls and we see the contents of this directory. It has the passwords for all of the um, you know users. What we want for this challenge, we want the password for this user. So we're gonna say natus 13 and change the command from ls to cat and we have the password. So now if you want to move up to the next challenge, I'm gonna go back here and check the next challenge. So we go to level 12 and this is the password. So we're gonna put the password here and we're gonna take this visit the URL, you can ask for the password, the username is natus13 and this is the password and now we get access to the next challenge. The next challenge is the same as before but with more strict filters on file upload, on the file upload process. I have covered before uh, file upload vulnerabilities and how to bypass them using different uh, methods. I also have all of the methods of bypassing file upload restrictions under the node file. Uh, this one, OS Web App and Testing. If we search for file, file upload. Yeah, we have different methods to bypass the uh, filters. So if you are subscribed to channel membership, you already have access to these, just as a reminder. And if you are not subscribed to get access to these nodes, you can subscribe to the channel membership. So that was it guys for today. I hope you like it and I'm going to see you later.